Hello, this is Fast Track Video, and my name is Ed. Um, it's taking me a little while to get this video to work tonight, and I don't know. I may have to use another device to do this. Anyways, um, I want to start with the message here. Uh, the topic of this is uh, ruling out uh, issues, performance issues, or what may be considered as clippings but are really not ruling out the performance issues with your music in Studio One 3.5. Now, the issue that I, I was faced with was all of my files, and I'm going to bring this back to where I was originally here because um, I've been trying to make this video work right here so that I can present the, what I found as a solution to everything here. Um, we're going to close out of this file here. And we'll just say no. It's not necessary, but it doesn't matter. Oh, yes, it does matter. I guess I have to save it. Um, close. And then. So, I have a whole lot of files here. And I thought because I was hitting performance issues since the day I bought the software, and I was loading, you know, I installed everything. My issue was that I, I was getting performance hits. And uh, when I talked to someone from Obedia, they were telling me that uh, you didn't have clipping issues. You had, there wasn't anything wrong at all. And the biggest issue I, I was encountering is that, yes, there was a performance issue, but they could not resolve it with me. And uh, before I go further into this message, I want to really emphasize one really important message. Just a little break here with everything. If you love God the way you love music, you will never be the same. God would minister to you, and you would be a way to minister to others about Him, and you would draw people closer to Him, and He would be a blessing for everybody. And that's the whole purpose of this video and the messages in my heart. And the music in my heart is to glorify God. So going back to the discussion here in regards to the circumstances here, I thought I had to erase all of my music and start all over again at square one two months ago or one month ago with this. And the issue is not so much about the music and it having the issue. It was trying to rule out and find out what the issue is. And so this is what we're going to do in regards to this. Uh, I'm going to go over how I resolved it um, from the hardware to the software, to the computer to the software. Um, at first I thought I had to buy a whole new set of monitors because of the monitor issue. But then when I ended up going uh, to uh, the uh, Scarlett uh, 18i8, uh, I put my headphones on and I still had the issue with my headphones. So it was not... The Scarlet issue, it was, well, although I couldn't rule out the Scarlet, it wasn't the monitor issue, it wasn't the headphone issue, I was still getting the performance glitch. And this is what it sounded like. I'm going to show you what the performance glitch sounds like. This is how you would really understand. And what's interesting with this is we're going to close out of the plug-in. Um, Let's focus down on the lower left here called Performance in Studio 135. Now, I think earlier versions might have this. Of course, I don't know for sure if it does or it doesn't. Um, it, I, I will see this a little bit, and you'll understand why I'm thinking the way I am. But let's play this, you know, and then you can see what the issues are here. Fast track video, we're going to speed up a little bit and get this thing going. Let's look down here and see any red dots. There you go. So I see it there. And it was sporadic throughout the song. And it didn't have to be in that one spot. It could be in several spots. It was never consistent. And it wasn't a clipping issue, it was a performance issue, although no, I, I couldn't get the answer from this from anybody, really. So we're going to find out what the answer is. 
I had to rule out these things. So I went from the monitors, they weren't the issue, the headphones weren't the issue. I really didn't see the Scarlett uh, 1898 the issue. Then I thought, then it's got to be electrons over hub bridge where all my MIDI USBs are connected to and then a USB connected to the com computer. And I thought that was the issue. But how, here's how I solved that. I did a straight connection from the control to the computer. And I had the same issue. So it's not the bridge either. It's not electrons components. So that's working fine. So then the last thing of the issue on all this would have to be then it's got to be the computer. And uh, I want to take a quick look here. Uh, yeah, we still got it going. Uh, let's take a look. I mean, so the way I ended up finding out whether it's a computer issue is I went online. And I went to Personas' website, and I found this web page, although I think it's very old. Checking performance in Studio One. And... It does point out the common thing down here of a performance monitor, although it doesn't give me any more information other than that. And this dialog is a little different than what I've seen on my performances. So uh, it's different. So I think with 3.5, there's a new feature. And it came in default. And we're going to see what that is. But I want to continue with this web page because this web page should be updated. It basically says, well, the first thing is maybe you have too many uh, hardware components connected to your computer and it's bottlenecking Studio One. I don't think that's the issue. You know, I think uh, that's not the issue at all. Then the next thing they were saying is it's a plug-in issue. You know, you, you got too many plugins. Well, yeah, I do. I have SWAMS, Isotope, XFR, Contact. I have a bunch of plugins in here, including Waves. I don't think that's the issue either. So, down here at the bottom was something that intrigued me. It says core parking on PC core on PC core. I'm like, what? I've never heard of this before. So core parking on. So it's where the core processor. Certain components of the cores, uh, uh, in the case of me, I have four quad, it's a quad core, so one, one or three of the cores is on park. <laughs> That's what it's telling me. So it says, you know, is when your power profile on your Windows-based PC computer has disabled virtual cores to save power. Well, and then it tells you how you can find that out, and we're going to go directly to that right now. Do shift and the three finger salute, shift and alt, control, alt, delete. And then we go to task manager. Then we get to a page like this in Windows 10. I want to make sure that everybody knows I'm running Windows 10 here. And if you really look at this, only 32% of my memory is being used out of the 60, 16 gigs. That's not a lot. That's like, you know, maybe three gigs of memory out of the 16, or maybe four if you want. And 3% of the CPU. This is where I don't really understand that that may be the issue. So I don't see the performance, but then people might say, well, you haven't pressed play on uh, the, uh, the studio so want to see that bottlenecks to see it. So let's try it out anyways. We'll take a look and see if we get the red again. And stop it. There it is. So we stop, minimize out. We go to performance over here. We do see a spike. So that could be a processor issue, but I find it hard to believe when right now it's constantly dropped. It, and it's not remaining at the top completely. So I think it's something else, and I, and I basically know what it is. We're going to find out the answer right now. When you come down to the performance here, you can click on that and it up brings up a performance monitor, which I'm pretty sure if I showed the spikiness and I played this, it would show up here. But here's the part that I want you to see is dropout protection. This is not in the other, on the web page, but it is here. So when I looked at this, I thought, well, why don't I try putting this to maximum? And why not? Let's do that right now. And we'll close out of this. 
We will rewind this. Let's listen to a little bit of this music again. See if we got an issue. I don't see it. It's, it's going up and down, but not, nothing's finding to a red dot. This solves the problem. So if you have an issue with performances, it may not be because you're you're encountering clipping. It may be so you have to check and see if your master uh, fader is above a certain point and it shows there. But in the case of the music here, I didn't need uh, that was already ruled out in a, another meeting with somebody. The issue has to deal with the software controlling. The performance of the music and the, the software itself. So, uh, hopefully, this solves the problems with you. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can drop a line down below. I'm all looking forward to bettering the lives of people creating music uh, that will just glorify God. And uh, look forward to you in the next uh, episode of Fast Track Video.